This morning, a popular tourist destination and a stop on the Appalachian Trail. Hot Springs, North Carolina is a go to for people who flock to the mountains. Part of the town was decimated by the recent floods from Helene. Aaron Velasquez spent the day there and spoke to community members who say they don't want anyone feeling sorry for them. They simply need help and resources. We're here in Hot Springs, North Carolina at the Hot Springs Resort, where as you can see behind me, these folks prepared their buildings with sandbags to protect some of the resort rooms. But those sandbags couldn't do anything in preparation for the floods that were to come and create a massive sinkhole just feet away from the resort's buildings. Nothing's the same, but the, the best part of it is that all the people that we love and care about are still here. Alyssa Humphreys first visited Hot Springs when she was four years old. That's Uncle Ken. The town that you grow up in and seeing all the people that you care about and love about and seeing all their businesses completely decimated and just feeling absolutely hopeless. Humphreys took that lack of hope and turned it into hard work. It's extremely important we get this business up, up, up and running so we can get the rest of them up. She and her friends spent time cleaning off the inventory at Gentry's Hardware, a staple in the community. That's the, the thing that we have to get up and running the quickest um, if this town wants to rebuild. And while the rebuilding may take time. I think it's going to be depressing as time moves on. This mountain town is reaching towards the sky together. Seeing the community come together for the past week has been amazing. Everybody's trying to lend a helping hand. <laughs> The people in Hot Springs, North Carolina, want you to know that they are not a sob story. They are a resilient community who is now turning their focus into recovery and coming together. Reporting in Hot Springs, I'm Aaron Velasquez.